Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. I am your photography and video making instructor. And in this video, I have the perfect example to show you how you can sync multiple photos just by using the settings of one photo. So with just a few clicks, you can apply the settings to many different photos. And I have the perfect scenario where I actually use this and it really, really helped me a lot. So a couple of years back, I was doing this shoot for a client in Goa and this client used to own this resort. So what had happened was if I just show you a close up here, I'm just showing you five photos. Uh, one second. Okay. So here, you know, these are the five photos that I'm showing. I'm just showing you, but uh, in reality, I clicked more than 500 photos in three days. And these were just very ordinary looking photos. That was the whole purpose because this was for Airbnb. So we kind of wanted to give them a real feel of the rooms uh, inside this resort. Now, the thing was, I had to click all these shots, but clicking 500 shots in three days is not so tough. What is more tough is if I have to apply the editing to each and every shot. Now, the client wanted specifically the window pull from each shot, which just means you should be able to see out of the window, okay, the things that are out. And therefore, in order to avoid doing an HDR by clicking multiple pictures, what I did was I just took every shot slightly underexposed as you can see here because in post I can then raise the shadows as you're going to see and decrease the highlights in order to get that window pull okay so this is because it's always easier to increase the shadows raise the shadows than it is to get stuff out of from the highlights because if the highlights are too blown out you're going to lose the details okay no software will be able to help you so therefore I just took one shot but I knew that you know, in Lightroom, I will be able to do this, but I don't want to do that 500 times, okay? So first of all, let's just quickly edit this photo. So I'm going to go to develop. Let's just make it correct so that we get the window pull and we raise the shadows. So first of all, I'm going to raise the shadows fully. So you can see it's really easy, okay? And right now I'm actually doing this on a JPEG. I would have probably done this on the raw image, which also I have there it's even easier and here you can see especially when it comes to the raw image uh it's easier to save the highlights right now let's just not worry about those things but you can see now i'm able to get uh the stuff outside the windows maybe i just have to increase the exposure just a bit and just turn the highlights a bit down so i'm just doing this right now fast because that's not the main purpose of this tutorial i just want to show you how you can apply this to different uh things also i do want to apply a lens correction uh to this so that we don't have any sort of distortion so i'm going to click on enable profile corrections okay and you can usually it just uh chooses the lens and now it has i think finally got it which is because i was using the uh 1424 uh f2.8 so you can see it's just kind of remove the distortion and finally i'm just gonna give this a slight crop okay and hit enter just to straighten this now let's say we don't want to do this again and again to all those images so here we've got these images to which we want to apply almost all of these settings right that's what i want to do but i also want to show you this is not going to be just a one click method okay because it usually doesn't work like that so there's kind of a real life example so but how do you do this is you select all of them so I'm just holding down control here, okay? Like this, and if you just notice the first photo here, okay, all of them are highlighted, but the first photo is slightly more highlighted. That means this is our reference photo. This is from where the settings will be synced on to the other images, okay? And all you have to do now is just right click and you can, you can also change the reference photo by clicking on this option, okay? But here we want the first photo to be the reference photo you want to go to develop settings and then just go on sync settings okay now this is the important part lightroom is going to ask you which of the settings do you want to change here okay or rather sync so almost all there's no problem in selecting these these are the ones where you're just playing around with the tones and the colors and the exposure that's okay you can apply most of that uh, to that for example let's say we didn't make any changes to vibrance but if we were to change the saturation vibrance we can probably apply that uh, here uh, then remember we did apply lens corrections because we clicked on enable profile so i should check that here so not all of them but at least this one okay uh and I think this is good to go because we did make a lot of changes here. This is fine. Now, the problem is I don't want crop to be selected. Remember, what did we use for cropping here for? Basically, for straightening the shot. So, crop, probably the same crop won't apply to all the images there. But the rest of the stuff is pretty much common, which is going to apply. So, this definitely has to be synced. So, I'm going to click on synchronize. And let's just see. This should have already been done. Now, you can see here, right? 
So now I can just, so let's say if I had those 500 photos, like when I did, right? So this would make my job so easy because yes, it's not a one click thing. I still have some work to do. Why? Because all I have to do now is on this library strip, I just keep going like next, I said, yeah, this is fantastic now. This is not under expo. This is giving me a perfect result. It's also straight, so I don't need to do anything. So sometimes it'll just save you time. Just that one click would have done the job for many photos, okay? But let's say, just uh, kind of give you an example that maybe, maybe just for this shot, okay? It probably did not do a very good job or maybe, uh, you know, there were some other problems which I need to correct. So sometimes you might just have to stop manually and just make those changes, okay? So maybe if this was also slightly tilted, I can crop this and do things which were not common. So for example, here I feel, yes, it is okay, but still the highlights, you know, need to be probably uh, decreased a bit, okay? So maybe I can like, uh, you know, decrease the heights a bit and, you know, do stuff like that to basically just, uh, you know, try to, try to get that stuff outside the window. So this was the, actually the problem I was ta talking about earlier on that sometimes it's not possible to recover the highlights. Okay, so probably I should have clicked it much darker, but it's not a problem because like I told you, I was using JPEG images right now as a uh, demonstration. If I was using the raw image, even this probably would have got uh, saved. But the point is, this is how uh, you sync things. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below and I'll, uh, you know, help you out. Other, apart from that, you know, once you're done, let's say if that whole batch of photos, you're just going to click on export and then just export all these images in one batch. Uh, it's very, very easy to do that, okay? These settings are very easy to do. Just click on export and you're done. So I hope that you like this. Do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.